So maybe a surprising use of geometric series, uh, the sum to infinity, is taking a recurring decimal and writing it as a fraction. So if you had something like 0 0.274, 274, 274, 274, 274, otherwise written as uh, 0 0.274, like that, that means recurring decimal, um, how could we write that as a fraction? Because any recurring decimal can always be written as a fraction. You already know that 0 0.33333 is one third. Anything that recurs can be written as a fraction. Well, okay, it's cool. You can write this as 0 0.274 plus uh, 0 0.000274 plus 0 0.000274. Pretty cool. If you stack them underneath each other, the 2.74 gets added to here, the 2.74 gets added, added to there, and it continues on and on and on and on um, until you get to term infinity. Uh, okay, so that's where we're at. Now, to take this number and turn it into this number, you would need uh, to be multiplying it by 1 one thousandth or another way is to take this and divide it by that and you'll, and you'll find the common ratio is one one thousandth um, and same here one one thousandth so now that we've got that we can simply use our sum to infinity formula to, to come up with what we've got here the sum to infinity is equal to the first term 0 0.274 over uh, 1 minus the common ratio Now, you could also write that as uh, 0 0.274 over um, 1 minus 0 0.001, which would be the same as 0 0.999. So now I have 0 0.274 over 0 0.999. That's a, a fraction, uh, but you really want to write it in whole numbers. So I can multiply top and bottom by 1,000, and I get 274 over 999. And you can try to simplify that if you can, uh, but that's not going to simplify. So there's our final answer. You can type it into your calculator and see if it'll simplify it, and it won't. Um, okay, there's geometric series, sum to infinity, recurring decimals as fractions.